You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrians for Black and White Sports. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smack that subscribe button and the like button for this video. And we're going to talk about the Lakers' epic meltdown because that's what's going on right now. The Lakers are plummeting. And in this case, they have literally plummeted out of the play-in position for the playoffs. They have that play-in tournament. They've held that last place in that play-in tournament for a while now. And they stumbled, they lost, and boom, they're out. Um, now, of course, they could win a game, get back in, sure. But the fact is, LeBron is right now, he's riding the pine, he's hurt. And the Lakers' social media account has done something very interesting. It seems that when the Lakers lose, hmm, they never place blame on any of their stars. Very interesting. Uh, saw this this morning. Let's get to the Lakers crashing and burning, because that's what they're doing in this uh, epic downward spiral. L.A. Lakers stumble out of the play-in position, now in 11th in the Western Conference for the first time since the first week of the regular season. The Lakers find themselves on the outside of the play-in tournament looking in after Tuesday's loss, 128-110 to the Dallas Mavericks. Playing without LeBron James, left ankle, Anthony Davis, old street clothes. The Lakers trail by as many as 37 points as Luka Doncic recorded a 30-point triple-double through the first three quarters of the game. Good God, 34, 12, and 12. Quote, we just didn't execute well enough and play with enough toughness. IQ, intelligence, focus, and fight. He says IQ. Wow. I guess he's calling his players idiots. Lakers coach Frank Vogel said, so not acceptable, just a poor performance across the board. Coaches, players, everybody. L.A. is currently number 11 in the Western Conference with seven games remaining. The Lakers are 31-44 and 44 and have the same record as the number 10 Spurs, but the Spurs own that tiebreaker. Wow. Looking ahead, the final stretch, the Lakers have gone 4-10 and 10 against their six remaining opponents. Now let's look at this because this is very interesting. This is from Larry Brown Sports. Lakers social media team has turned surprising player into a scapegoat. And that's not, that's not him. LeBron James, he should, of course, be the player getting all the attention he acts as the general manager. He wanted this team put together. He wanted to push guys like Kyle Kuzma and Brandon Ingram out the door in order to get Anthony Davis. And, of course, the historically piss-poor acquisition of Russell Westbrook. The finger-pointing for the Lakers' dismal season continues, and it appears to be making a scapegoat of an unlikely player on the roster. Content creator Kenny Beecham shared some research this week about the final score graphics that have been posted by Lakers' social media team this year. Beecham found that LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Russell Westbrook have zero total appearances on graphics following losses. Instead, Malik Monk has been featured the most times on post-loss graphics with 10 total appearances out of 43 losses. Meanwhile, the James Davis-Westbrook trio has been featured a total of 19 times when it comes to post-win graphics. The Lakers have 31 wins. And here are the examples that featured Monk. There he is right there. That's a loss. There he is right there. That's a loss. There he is right there. That's a loss. And then when you get a win, then they put LaChina James on there. There he is. There's street clothes Anthony Davis after a win. There he is. Even though Carmelo Anthony scored 28 in that game. 
And there's Russell Westbrook right there. Scapegoating Monk for the team's losses is pretty misguided. Monk is by no means a perfect player. He struggles on defense, consistency, and creating for others. But he is on a minimum deal as one of their best shooters and scorers is the one off-season signing that actually worked out for the Lakers. They completely whiffed on several others like Kendrick Nunn, Kent Bazemore, Trevor Ariza, and DeAndre Jordan, to name a few. At the same time, players who are making much more money have been way bigger problems for Westbrook. He is making, this is ridiculous, $44.2 million this season, and his struggles have been well documented. Davis is making 35.4. He's missed over half the season. Even James making 41.2 has become a glorified stat patter this season. Yeah. Yeah. So he's out there padding his stats right now while the Lakers are crashing and burning. So the Lakers are currently out of the play in tournament. And when they do lose, They never blame the three guys that are most responsible, most notably, and I'm going to continue to say it, LeBron James. It's LeBron James. It's your team. You put it together. You go to these teams like you did with the Lakers. You become the pseudo general manager. Everybody knows you're the ones going out there behind the scenes, talking to players. Start. You start plotting guys getting out the door. You start plotting against the coaches, get them out the door. It's his decision, his team, and he can take the blame for most notably bringing in Russell Westbrook. I mean, I said this is a god-awful acquisition. I mean, my God, there's a reason why Kevin Durant said, nah, I'm out. He wanted to get away from this guy. There's a reason. The Lakers are spinning down the toilet as we speak. We are here for it. We are here to chronicle it. And it is awesome. Way to go, LaChina. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.